measure of angle R is 2 pi radians. The measure of angle T is 5 pi, 12 radians greater than the measure of angle R. What is the measure of angle T in degrees? Two things are testing you here, your ability to add fractions and to know how to convert radians to degrees. All right, so 2 pi over 3 radians. And angle T is 5 pi over 12 radians greater than, so we're going to be adding, adding 5 pi over 12. Ignoring that there's a pi there, this really is just, you know, make them have common denominators and then add. To get 3 to have a denominator, uh, 2 pi over 3 to have a denominator of 12, we're going to need to multiply it by 4 over 4. So on top, that gives me 8 pi, and on the bottom I have my 12. Ah, so now I can add those. So 2 pi over 3 becomes 8 pi over 12. I add those together. 8 pi plus 5 pi is 13 pi over 12. So that's my first part done. Now they want to know what is this angle in degrees. Okay, so 13 pi over 12, I need to convert that two degrees. To convert two degrees, you multiply by 180 over pi. To get from degrees to radians, you multiply by pi over 180. If you're having a hard time remembering which one's which, if you are starting in radians, nine times out of 10, there's a pi involved. If you're in degrees, there's like never a pi involved. It's just degrees. I'm sure somewhere out there, someone's going to go, there's a problem I had where there's, I know, I know. I'm talking as a general rule. There's not going to be a pi when you're talking about degrees. You're only going to see that 99 times out of 100 in radians. So if you're trying to get from radians to degrees, you want to put the pi where it will cancel out. So here you want the pi to be on the bottom so that they're going to cancel out and be gone. That's what helps me to remember which, whether it's 180 over pi or pi over 180, because if you multiplied this thing by the other way around, if you put the pi on top over 180, you're going to get pi squared degrees. Oh, no, we've done something wrong. So 180 over pi. Uh, canceling here is going to be your friend. Pi's cancel out. And 12 does go into 180. So 12 goes into 12 one time, and 12 goes into 180 15 times. And so then we can just multiply because the pi's are gone. And we just have 13 times 15 on top, and that's 195 degrees, which is C, my answer. I hope you enjoyed that today. Um, if it was helpful, useful in any way, please like, share, subscribe. You know the drill. Thank you so much for stopping by. Hope you have a great day. See you later. Bye.